All right, friends, we're back with even more Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. We are going to find the final rift in the game that's going to be involving some side quests. So let's jump in and find out who's the Echo. All right, how do I begin to narrow this down? Your Highness, I was just muttering to myself, I suppose I can confide in you, Princess Zelda. The name's Beecher. General Wright asked me to look into a highly sensitive matter. You see, after the rift was mended, we noticed that there was one extra soldier in Castletown. General Wright believes that this uh, to mean uh, one of them is an echo, hidden among our ranks. So he asked me to see if any of the soldiers seemed suspicious, but my investigation has hit a wall. When I started looking at them more closely, they all seemed suspicious. You're not a soldier, so I know you're not an echo. Could you help me figure it out? Uh, thank you so much. I've been trying, uh, I've been telling myself in knots over this, I'll tell you. All right, what we know uh, so far is that there's one soldier too many in the castle town. Would you mind interviewing them all and trying to suss out the echo? At this point, I'm so mixed up that I'm seeing echoes everywhere I look. All right, how about you, dude? Welcome back. Suspicious soldiers? Uh, you're looking for suspicious soldiers. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Dude, everyone's suspicious. How am I supposed to find out the Echo? Swipe a sword at him. Awkward to admit, but I might be the one you're looking for. The other day, I broke my lance when I was training. When it happened, I yelped in shock. The soldiers around me looked really annoyed. Did one of them re report me? Uh, it makes a difference, and I was able to go get my lance replaced the same day. I even got some new armor, which is great. My old set was pretty beat up from training. Now we're playing Detective Pikachu, dude! Oh my gosh. You think I want to play Detective Pikachu? Alright, soldiers. You! Well, if it isn't the princess. Huh, no. I haven't noticed anyone acting suspicious. All I've noticed is that it feels a bit crowded. Like there are more of us than, more of us than there used to be. Why do you ask? An extra soldier, so it really is a bit more crowded. Well, you know, every soldier needs their own equipment. And all arm our armor and weaponry is managed at the barracks. I'd suggest going to the barracks to ask if there's any equipment unaccounted for. Where are oh, is that the barracks? Hey, what's cooking? Hey, no, everyone's on the up and up as far as I can tell. But if someone starts acting up, you bet I can give them what for. I'm playing Detective Pikachu right now. You! Ah, yes, yes, yes. Tell me about the soldiers. Uh, it's just me in the barracks, so none that I've seen. Although I guess I have no way of proving I'm not suspicious. That's a doozy to think about. Tell me about the gear, though. Okay, missing equipment? Uh-huh, you want to know if any equipment has gone missing? Nope, all accounted for, except uh, there was a set of damaged equipment that a soldier gave me. I had set it outside to be disposed of, but I don't recall anyone actually getting rid of it. I hate to say this, but someone could have taken it. Your Highness, it's Beecher again. Uh, you came to ask about the equipment too? Huh, two steps ahead of me. Beecher, what's going on? The Princess and I are investigating whether one of the soldiers in Castletown is an Echo. What? If that were true, it would follow that there is a missing set of equipment. Right. I was speaking with the Princess about that. There seems to be one set of equipment missing. We set it outside for disposal. I see, it's worrisome. A uh, missing set of damaged equipment and an extra soldier in Castletown. What do you make of it? Well, the Echo took it. Exactly my thoughts. Someone stole the equipment and slipped in among the soldiers. The equipment that's missing is a used set that another soldier traded in. Meaning, it should show signs of damage. Find the damaged equipment and you got the Echo. Okay. For accuracy's sake, let's confirm with each other who we think it is. Remember, our suspect is a suspicious soldier with damaged equipment. Is there anyone down here? You, dude. You got damaged equipment? Uh, I don't know about that, man. Uh, yeah. Okay, sleeping down here. No one suspicious. Okay, working hard. Yeah, this guy. Alright, you. I don't know, man. You're the same what's cooking guy. No, we've already done that. <sighs> okay, let's see. Let's see, someone. You're on a watch? I mean, you, you look fine to me, dude. I don't see anything damaged. You're looking for soldiers, nothing coming to mind. Western ramparts, okay. Western ramparts? Okay, we did western. Alright, let's see. You! No? Okay. Um. Dude, where? I don't know where all the soldiers are. 
Wish I could zoom in. You guys look fine. I'm looking for like beat up gear, maybe like a broken spear or something. Yeah, I don't know, man. Okay, there's a little girl with the dog. We we're probably gonna grab that. Dude, this guy, are you sure? Oh, what? Yo, his spear doesn't have a head. Okay, dude, and he says, what's cooking? His spear does not have a head. I did not see his head like that, this guy. All right, man, here we go. I did, I sure did. Where did you see him? Near the well. His lance was damaged. Let's nab this echo. Ah, oh, I wasn't expecting you here. What do we do? What do we owe your pleasure? General Wright, I asked the princess to aid my investigation. We found the culprit. That's right. You what? By whose authority did you trouble the princess with this? Not mine, that's for sure. Uh, sorry. After searching for the echo for a while, I got paranoid. I didn't know who to trust. All right, I did not want you to burn in with this, so deep apologies. Okay, so bring me the echo. Yes, sir. Here's the culprit. How'd he do? Nice to, uh, oh, hold on. What do you mean culprit? Damaged lance proves you stole the equipment and pretended to be a soldier. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. I saw how much the soldiers helped people around here. Maybe you want to be one of you, so I pretended I was. Excuse me, that was why? I see. I was visiting my buddy buddy in Castletown when the rift popped up. I was so scared I couldn't move, but then a soldier came to save my hide. Made me feel so safe. I realized I wanted to be the guy. The guy who makes people feel safe. I understand, but, well, how should I put this? You got the makings of the soldier. Pardon, sir? Uh, it's true. You should not have pretended to be a soldier. Uh, that can damage uh, people's trust in us. Oh, jeez, I didn't think about that. So, not what I w meant to do. That said, your enthusiasm for helping others, your unyielding resolve... Both essential traits for the protector of Hyrule. What's your name, son? My name is Capnut. Ah, I can truly set... If you're truly set on becoming Soldier Capnut, I can discuss it with the king. What? You mean it? That'd be awesome. I mean, thank you, sir. General Wright, with all due respect, he's totally untrained and untested. Yeah, please. Training and expertise are not easily gained. Uh, are easily gained. Spirit is not. Besides, if he can evade the attention of veteran soldiers, the boy must have some skill. That's not to say he'll have it easy. I'll give him even more training drills than the rest of you. I see. In that case, I do not envy this Capnut kid. Isn't that great? We're a team now. Beach? Can I call you Beach? Ah, don't. We really have to fix the way you address your superiors. Zola, I can't thank you enough for your help. Please accept this with my gratitude. Okay, a golden egg. Perfect. All right, now time for us to take our leave. Your first training drill, run from here to the castle. Yes, sir. That's great. Thank you so much. We have 12 golden eggs. That's easily over a thousand rupees. So we can afford anything in the game right now, which is pretty great. All right, so now I'm looking for a, a young girl with a dog. Right? Is that what we're looking for? Oh my gosh, tell me where she is. I will not be looking all over town. Little girl with... Oh, here you go. Little girl with a dog. Perfect. So cool. All right, this is it. Now, the only way we get this quest is if we beat that previous quest. Oh, princess, look what I found. Isn't it cool? My very own Romy discovery. Did you know you'll be happy forever and ever if you have one of these clovers? So I gave my papa one. He said, oh, Romy, thank you so much. He was so happy. So, princess, you, I think you should give one of these to your papa, too. A happy clover? A girl in the castle gave you a four-leaf clover plant. You should take it to the king. Uh, now, go make your papa happy, too. Oh, puppers, wait. From the heart side quest? Why? Oh, man. This is how all the troubles happen, right? Oh, please give this to the king. Trust me. I'm just a little child. Here we go. Zelda, good to see you. You have something for me? Oh, I see. Uh, and from one of the young children in town. A clover that brings happiness. Sounds like she's a real treasure, then. Uh, you said the child's name was Romy. Well, then, I'll have to find a way to show her my gratitude. Your Majesty, urgent news. Oh, what is it? Young child from town, little Romy, has run away. Slipped out into the field. 
By the time the guards noticed her, she'd already bolted the southern gate. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Gather your fellow soldiers at the southern gate. We must send out a search party immediately. Yes, sir. Romy, that was the child who wanted me to have this clover, was it not? I know there's still much you need to do. Would you assist us in the search effort? I'm terribly concerned about all this. That soldier said Romy ran out through the southern gate. The guard should be there to tell you more. Okay, southern gate, man. I guess I could just warp over there, right? That's the southern gate. Oh, there's a huge... Oh, yeah, in the forest over there. The forest where, uh... Yeah, in Link to the Past, where they're playing the flute. Had to dig around in the dirt for it. I hope there's something along those lines. Yeah, a huge rift just appeared. All right, all we know. Uh, honored to have your help. Zelda, Romy was seen running along past the gate. We should believe she was uh, chasing a dog. I've sent soldiers to comb along the road. You might want to try speaking with them. Dude, I'm going. All right, do I have to talk to you guys? I know where the rift is. Follow the road south. Okay. Where's the road? What is a road in this game? Oh, I guess I'm following this road. No sign of child or dog. They must have headed further south. All right, you know what? We're gonna be going pretty far south, so I'm gonna go carrot and then spawn the horse up north. There we go, perfect. All right, don't eat. Come on, man. All right, yo, boys. What did you find out? East or west? Nope. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, let's go, let's go to the west. Okay, see you later. This is where Link's house was. Oh my gosh, this is where Link's old house was in, um... In, uh, Link to the Past right there. Oh man, it's all coming back. It's just flooding, it's flooding into my mind right now. So there was a treasure chest there. What, what became of it? That's, that's an Easter egg. Uh, for the new rift has sprung up up ahead. Please be careful. All right, well, we're going straight to that rift. All right, there's like double rift over here. It's starting to look like a triple rift. Dude, that was Link's old house in Link to the Past. Oh, cool. How do I not have this, though? Can we talk about that? Yeah, thanks, buddy. All right, all right. Here we go, here we go. Yep, good job, good job. Here we go. This looks bad. Okay, we made it. Ah, oh, Princess Zelda, you're here. We came up this rift while searching for the missing child, but the dog won't move an inch. Inch. He refuses to leave. And if this is Romy's dog, then that could mean... Oh, I can't even bear to say it. Oh, yeah. We're gonna jump in there and save the child. And this will be the last rift that we get in the game. I'm excited for that. Because then we'll have a level 11 try that's completely maxed out. I'm doing it, man. All right, how many? Oh, there she is. How many? Three areas. Okay, got it. Oh, there she is, just chilling. Hi, little one. Yep. Yep, there you are, Romy. The girl who went missing. We found her. We have to mend the rift and save her. Okay, I will. Okay. Analyzing. This fish has it, so we're going to go shark. Double shark. Okay, number one, down. All right, P-hats, don't need those. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go... Wizard robe on this thing? Actually, you know what? These guys are kind of annoying. So we just knock out whoever's over here. Please don't knock me back. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, Wizard Robe, you knock those guys out. Have fun. Okay, and then there's a Moldorm that has them. Cool. All right, well, uh, we're going to bring Wizard Robe over here to just do some work if you can. Ow, man. Don't knock me down, dude. Oof. This is like 100% we're playing Link to the Past. Those Moldorms were so hard. I remember when there was a big Moldorm in like one of the first dungeons as a boss. And it would just bump you off the level and you had to like... Climb all the way back up. Oh my gosh, that was one of the hardest bosses. Because you'd attack its head, but it wouldn't do anything. You'd attack its tail. But it was all, like, random all over the place. Woof. Man, I should totally play that game again. I love Link to the Past. It's a fun game. 
finding all the heart pieces. The bottles were so good in that one. There's a bottle underneath the bridge, I remember. That was cool. All right, here we go. We're going to find out what happens when we power up, try to the max. Yeah, that's it. That's the last rift. I can do even more now. Discounts on all of the uh, very, very strong ones. That's kind of fun. But like, it's not like we really needed that at the end of the game, right? What are you going to do? Rock a, a four power and then rock a two power one? Maybe. I guess that's cool. I was really hoping for something else, like maybe something aesthetic uh, on top of try. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to find out. All right, so we figured out how to max out try, and that was kind of hard, right? We had to actually find the exact sub side quest that would give us that last one. So cool. All right, the rift is gone. It's a miracle, and the child is saved. Oh, princess. Hi, princess. Uh, why are you here? You were caught in a rift. Princess Zelda saved you from it. Oh, wow, thank you. I guess that means I've been gone a while, huh? I should probably go home. Thank you for your help, your highness. If you hadn't been here, well, uh, I'm just glad you were. Well, I'll go brief the other soldiers on what happened. Would you escort this one to the castle? I played lots and lots. Now I'm hungry. Cute. Thank you for helping to bring back my dear daughter. When I heard she had slipped out of town, I didn't know what to do. Thankfully, little Romy is safe now because of Princess Zelda. I too am relieved to have the child back with us. Romy, glad as we are that you're safe, you should know your father was very worried. In the future, you mustn't go beyond the gates of your own, understood? Papa was worried about me? I'm sorry. I'll be more careful. I also want you to know that Zelda gave me your gift. And I'd like to take the opportunity to express my gratitude. Thank you, Romy. I will cherish it. And now, I'm sure you're both tired after all the excitement today. The soldier will escort you back into town. Yes, your majesty. Bye-bye, king. Bye-bye, princess. Hey, Romy, slow down. Cool. For a job well done, I get. I appreciate your help. You know, you actually caused a similar fuss once when you were little. You were always a spirited one. I used to worry terribly when you got into trouble. And now, now you've grown up so much so that you no longer need my help. Even so, Zelda, you will always be my daughter no matter how strong and capable you become. And no matter the duties you are burdened with. Here, I'd like you to have this dress back. Oh, fun! You got some customary attire. Oh, beautiful and elegant dress. It's fit for a princess. Wearing it makes you feel regal. Oh, you left with Impa when you fled the castle, yeah? That dress is a symbol of who you are to this kingdom and who you are to me. The prince of Hyrule, my beloved daughter. You are the, my greatest treasure, Zelda. While you are away, I will wish you for your safety upon this happy clover. Please know that you may return home whenever you need rest. Oh, cool. Another outfit? Yeah. Okay, this is fun. This is way better than um, Princess Peach Showtime, dude. Oh, yeah. So cool. All right. So I do like that. I like the, the new color dress. I'm into it because I actually play with the dress on and we just do the work. So anyway, we got some stuff to do. So let's get this, uh, let's get this on the road. So since we beat all of the entirety of the... What was that? We just got all of the rifts. We're done with that. We fully powered up our little try guy. Now, what I want to work on is I want to work on getting all the echoes in the game. I'm missing about approximately 13 of them. So uh, I've pinpointed some narrow locations on where they could possibly be. So uh, yeah, let's jump in and see exactly what we can do about finding the rest of those echoes that I'm missing over here. Because remember, we really only explored, I don't know, half of the map 40 percent of the map when we were going through the main story so yeah this is exactly what we got to do here so these uh guineas here ow dude what the heck guinea all right this is what i need oh gosh that's what i need right there okay so we are going to knock you guys out the fire and then that is a new echo that we needed right there done the stuffed toy echo a cute little plush guy. For creepy unknown reasons, ghosts are drawn to it. Okay, cool. So we already have a Gini. I'm looking for a Gini level two. Oof. 
Yeah, burn him. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's a thing. Yeah, yeah. Attack that. Yeah, that's right. So they're they're obsessed with the doll, and they just look at it, which gives me the opportunity to launch at them. But of, of course, Guinies can go through walls, right? Yeah, Guinea, go through the wall and hit that, please. Thank you. They're like little boos from the Mario universe, right? All right, that's kind of fun. All right, so we got our, our one new Echo. Is this a level two Guinea? What is this? Looks like Guinea boss. All right, I'm gonna go Wizrobe. And then I'm gonna go Bear over here so that they just enjoy that. Can you please, can you please just attack them? Well, they're knocking him out, so I can just Guinea. Yeah, I, oh, that's a Guinea level two. Okay, great. Love that. We got we got two echoes in this little area over here. Guinea number two. All right, Guinea level two echo. Largest type of Guinea. Oh, this monster has a huge eyeball and a tongue to match its stature. Okay, cool. Very cool. What are you attacking for? There's no one else here. Secret Guinea? I don't know. All right, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Guinea. Got it. Okay, so we kind of went over that way. Uh, let's go to this lake over here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go over to the lake and I'm gonna try to find a, a frog. I'm gonna try my best to find a frog called Ribbit Tune. I think I may have passed it just like casually walking around uh, thinking that I already had said frog. So let's, let's get out of here. Let's see what we can do. Okay, forget that. I'll go around. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to locate this ribbit tune. Wahoo! Are you, no, he's a, okay, so I don't see any, quite anything yet. Okay, ribbit tune. Is this the lake I'm looking for? hope so. If not, what did we say? Lake, um, south of the Heber Mountains. These are the Heber Mountains. I'm in said lake. So maybe it's, maybe it's like in the, okay, a little bit more south. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Oops. That's my ride, man. These I need to be a little bit cheaper. Okay. Okay. Guinea, guinea, froggies. Oh, cool. There he is. Nice. Yeah, 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 let's get him, boys. All right, I'm gonna go, uh, yeah, you. That's him, just chilling out over here. Burn him, give me that. New Echo, great, it's the Ribbit Tune Echo hanging out over here. All right, Amphibious Crooner, whose golden croaks draw other monsters to it. Could be useful as a trap. All right, yeah, we have the Ribbit Tune and then we got the Drippy Tune. Fascinating, okay, well, we have a lot more to get. All right, so I'm going to right now um, attempt to find the... I got two big ones in this forest. I gotta find the Lionel, and I have to find the Sword Moblin level three. We'll see what we can do about that. Footsteps. Ooh, the first thing I wanna get is gonna be the, the Sword Moblin. So let's look around over here. Let's see what we can find about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, is that it? Okay, cool, cool. Give me that sword. Oh, I cannot do that? There he is, right here. Oh, you took him out, huh? Yo, three and a half hearts? Get burnt, belly button. All right, he's done. That's, he's a big guy. Sword Moblin level three echo. Look at this thing, that's a big boy. And it only costs four, not bad. A veteran Moblin that has mastered its huge sword and shield to cut down all opponents. Very cool. All right, thanks, Gini. I mean, Wizard. All right, so now we gotta go find this um, Lionel. That's gonna be pretty interesting. We're in the right area for it, so. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what they meant by foot. So let's see if we can find footprints at the start and just really follow them. Um, I don't know how um, 
yeah, I don't know how this is going to work out or how strong a Lionel is going to be, but I remember that seeing one as an echo uh, in the final boss area. Okay, footprints, footprints, footprints. Oh. Oh, here we go, footprints. Which way? Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Following these footprints. Oh gosh, leave me alone, dude. I'm not looking for you. Oh, that's not it. Where'd they go? Oh no, here they are. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Okay. Keep on following the footprints. Yep, here we go. Following the footprints. Oh, this is actually so cool. This is so fun. Yeah, yeah, following the footprints wherever they go. Oh, he has to be here in the arena. Oh, my actual word. Help me. Help. Help. Oof. Oh, that took so much damage. Yo, guy. Excuse me. Yo, a spin attack. What? Yo, harder than the final boss right now. What? No, oh, really? Good. Slow him down a little bit. Make a wall of bombs. Yeah, that's right. Enjoy that, guy. That was really tough. Holy moly, the strongest echo in the game right now. The Lionel Echo, most likely. The most fearsome monster in all of Hyrule. This brute annihilates foes with mighty swings of its sword. Oh my word. That is intense. Cool. Look at this guy. Oh man, I would love to see how that. I wish you could ride him. Like, forget the forget the royal steed, dude. You got a you got a Lionel now. Anyway, that thing destroyed me. Did you see how much damage it took? And I have damage reduced up. Like what? Wow, that was cool. All right, well, I'm gonna eat all my stuff really quick. Holy moly. All right, cool. Add the Lionel. All right, Dark Nut 3 is what we have to find now. Um, east side of Scrubton. Let's go find uh, Scrubton over here. There's some sort of, um, I don't know, cave? Deeper portion of the cave in the east side of Scrubton. I don't know where that is, but there's like another big Dark Nut inside there. Let's find that. And I will use the Lionel against them. You better believe, dude. All right, so where I want to kind of look, there was a cave over here. I'm going to try to look inside there. Again, I'm not 100% confirmed if that's where it is, but I don't mind trying. This was a cave, wasn't it? What is this cave called? Didn't we go in here? Didn't we do all this? East side. It's either this or this. Yeah, I don't I don't know which one it is. We gotta find a dark nut. Give me that. What's the deal, dude? You turn around? Do I not? Why does that one move and why do the other ones don't? Is there something weird? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, is this the Beemos? This can't be the Beemos. Hey, hey! Yo, eat a Lionel! How do I get the? Wait, wait, wait! How do I get this guy if I crack him open, though? Yeah, break it! How do I get the echo? This is not a Beemos. What the heck? Oh, I don't know, man. I can just get a Guinea to get that. That's like so cheesing it, isn't it? That is cheesing. How do I get the Beemos Echo, though? Dude, if this is the Beemos, how am I getting them? I'm gonna try, like, a Gini. I'm gonna try Gini level 2, man. Dude, I don't, I don't know how to get this Echo.
Yeah, dude, do it. Genie is kind of cool. Oh, use a bomb on it. Okay, so if you bomb the... Yeah, yeah, so there we go. That's perfect. You move out of the way. If we use a bomb, we should be able to blow it up afterwards. Aha, genius. I did not think of that at all. Okay, so add the Beemos to our list. You just knock it out and then you have to blow it up. Cool, cool, yeah, yeah. That's great. I hope this is the area where I'm gonna find that, that dark nut. All right, you little boo. I don't know, I kinda went in here. Oh, is that him? What? Did I, did I not do this? Lionel versus dark nut, go! Whoa, that's a spinning attack if I've ever seen one, but Lionel made quick work of that. Holy moly, good job, dude. Well, we know who wins in a fight. Darknut level three is what we needed, right? Huge and powerful, this Darknut variant wears armor that can even protect it from arrows. Oh, so cool. Yeah, we really, I don't know how we didn't explore this. And look, a new accessory, it's a spin brace. Wearing the sturdy but lighter shoulder pad will enable you to knock back foes when uh, you hit with a spin. I guess that's cool. I don't really need that, but make note of it. Okay, awesome. We need to go to the desert now. So there's a lot going on in the desert that I never really explored. I've got like four different Borblins floating around in the desert. So uh, let's go do that. And then we should be able to find out the rest of these echoes, man. But anyway, I think what we do, I think that's a good, good pause point right now because we really only have a small amount left. We have six more echoes to go. So let's go find those six echoes on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you later.